Today's decision was a big relief for dreamers across the U.S. ABC 10 News reporter Marie Cornell spoke to a DACA recipient today. It's the news many dreamers have been waiting for. We spoke with one who says even though this is a step in the right direction, he believes there's still more work that needs to be done. This is a picture of Jonathan Noriega when he first arrived in America. His family is from Mexico, and he says this is the only place he's ever known. This is my country. I've been here since I was four years old. Never committed a crime. I pay taxes. Jonathan grew up in San Diego and has never left. He's one of the 650,000 dreamers that are part of DACA. Jonathan completed his two-year application extension and had just gotten word it had been approved. And with today's news of the Supreme Court's ruling, which blocks the president's efforts to end the program, Jonathan feels better knowing he has some security. But he adds that's not enough. I just hope that, you know, some real bill gets passed because DACA was always helpful, but it can only help you to a certain extent, you know. Um, I want to be able to get uh, federal loans, you know, to to apply for federal aid, um, and it, DACA will never be that. Jonathan will be attending SDSU in the fall. He says he's working full time and putting away money because of the constant fear that one day he may get deported. From SDSU, Marie Cornell, ABC 10 News.